Hello, Joe Gaming Goalie here, and today we have a Resident Evil pickups video. So grab a cuppa, relax, chill, and enjoy this video. Mhm. Mm mm. Wonderful, lovely cup tea. Um, yeah, we haven't got a huge amount here today. But it's, we got some really good things. <laughs> really good things. And we definitely do have one rare item. So yeah, we got some rare things for you. Stranger. Oh, indeed. <laughs> A little tub stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got some good stuff today. Um, not a lot, but a good... Very good. Oh, I get to it in a minute. Oh, it's very exciting. Um, but, yeah, if you're new to this channel and what the hell's the Resident Evil? It's just, it's nothing special. It's just a re Resident Evil merchandise. Could be books, comics, hats... Merchant Tub Duck, <laughs> yeah, figures, <laughs> um, board games, basically everything and anything Resident Evil, basically. That's what this Resident Evil pickups is. I've got a load more Resident Evil pickups on my channel in a playlist, which I'll link on the end of this video. <laughs> I'm wearing my Resi hat today, which is cool. Um, oh, and my new Iron Maiden t-shirt, which I absolutely love. It's like really cool colour variant, um, green and purple, so. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with it. Um, the first thing I got is this um, Nintendo uh, Switch game holder case thing with uh, an umbrella symbol on it. Very cool, and then it holds all your like little uh, games in there for the Switch. Um, I'm playing more than one Switch game at the moment, so I feel like this would be a, a lot more handier. Um, and also, if I ever go on holiday, really good case to take the games in. So yeah, first thing we've got is this. Very good. Um, and next, I have a game, and we got the Resident Evil 4 Gold Edition. Um, obviously I already have the, um, I got the Resident Evil game as soon as this came out. The Res the new Resident Evil, well, it's not new anymore, but I did get the Resident Evil remake as soon as it came out, um, and completed it very, 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 very quickly. Um, but yeah, the Gold Edition came out, um, and it literally has everything on here. Um, so many different things on here. Basically all the DLC. Uh, the separate ways, yeah, all kinds of things on there. So I had to get this, um, because I'm a massive Resident Evil fan, why not? I haven't played separate ways yet, so that's my next thing I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, cup of tea. <laughs> I do actually have the... Um, Gold edition for Village as well. Um, I should just wait till the Gold edition comes out, but I'm <laughs> I just want to play it right away, you know, as soon as it comes out. Um, so yeah, I end up buying the normal edition with no DLC, and then later on I get the Gold editions. Um, but I kind I like the different cover art and stuff, so. And if you're a Resident Evil fan like me, loving everything and anything Resident Evil, you kind of want to collect everything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't have... I don't collect everything and anything, to be fair, but uh, I'll collect what I like. <laughs> um, and next, we got this. There you go. We got a Resident Evil umbrella shirt with yeah the umbrella symbol yeah i can't believe i don't have one of these i got a stars one stars t-shirt absolutely love that i wear that to death <laughs> and yeah now i've got an umbrella one so ooh. 
coming up to some rare things. Well, rare thing. Um, mm. <laughs> Do I dare show it? Right, okay. Before I show it, okay. <laughs> it is a retro game. And I said I'm done. But hear me out, hear me out, right? <laughs> oh. Hear me out, okay? In all my years of collecting, I have never, ever seen this. Ever. Um, in the wild. Um, obviously you could just go on the internet and go, mm, and just click and buy and all that, but I don't particularly like buying games on the internet. I hate buying games on eBay. I don't, wherever, I don't like I'd rather just walk into a game shop and go, oh yes, that's just me. So, what rare game did I pick up? I mean, some of you might have already guessed. Yes. Oh, <laughs> finally, finally it's mine. Uh, <laughs> we have Resident Evil 2 on the N64. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, I can't wait to play this. <laughs> it's it's going to be like Resident Evil 2, obviously, but it's going to be weird playing with the N64 control. There might be some slight differences. I don't know. I'm very excited, but I've always wanted this, okay? Uh, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I pretty much have to okay and like i say it's really hard to collect down in the sussex area like we barely have any retro game stores anymore they've pretty much so many have closed down basically so it makes it even harder to collect um i mean my friend did say is that one of the reasons why you given up collecting um I mean, that doesn't help, to be quite honest, but... No, I've just done it for so long. I don't want to collect any more retro games. Um, but, obviously, this is a retro game. Doesn't mean I'm starting again, okay, guys? Because I'm not. I'm definitely not. But this is an, an exception. <laughs> so, um, because I've never seen this in the shop shops ever. In all my years of collecting, so... And it just so happened to turn up. Right when I say I'm done. Brilliant things. <laughs> but, um, I'm sure you guys will understand, so, uh, yeah. We've got a retro game. Um, but, uh, my friend was saying about... So does that mean if you see anything else that's super rare that you've never bumped into in all, all of your years of collecting, would you pick it up? I don't think there's anything else I would want, so no. Um, this was a this is something I wanted for ever, um, but I never thought I'd ever see this. But yeah, I got this in CEX, um, and it's uh, it's oh, probably should take it out of the this shiny thing. It's not in bad condition. It's too shiny. <laughs> like, it's not in bad condition at all. It's, you know, a bit tad around the box, but you can tidy that up. Um, yeah. No manual. Um, I don't care. <laughs> Couldn't care less about a manual. Um, the car is absolutely mint. Um, uh, maybe I'd do an unboxing of it or something, I don't know. But yeah, <sighs> never thought I'd see that ever. Um, and I cannot wait to play it. And will I play it on my channel? Definitely. I definitely will. Um, I think I'm going to try not play it and do a first reaction, I guess. Um and film that and yeah do a separate video on that um do need an n64 day we've been doing a lot of gaming days and um yeah so uh 
definitely want to do an N64 gaming day. <laughs> and we can check out Resident Evil 2. Um, that would be amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. I haven't... Oh, you don't have... Oh, I've never seen this game. It's crazy. And I've been watching a lot of people's gaming hunts and... Uh, gaming hunting videos and stuff. And there's always like a Resident Evil 2. And I'm just like... And I... I remember saying, I never see one of those. If I saw one of those tomorrow, I'd buy it and literally do 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 walk in to see X. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't buy it, I went home. Um, and then, if you remember, I had a Neo Geo pocket that I was going to sell to um, Retro by Ronnie. Anyway, I told my brother about. You know, there's an RE2 game in CX, and he's like, whoa, you got to get that. Um, and then I sent... It's probably gone now, it's probably gone. And I was saying about, I still got that um, Neo Geo Pocket. You know, I don't really... It's a lot of money. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to pay that amount <laughs> at all. Um, I've never paid that much for a game. Mm. Um, yeah, so, very expensive, um, game, this. <laughs> so, I, you know, grabbed the Neo Geo, went down there the next day, sold my Neo Geo pocket, which I do not miss, and got something I really, really wanted. <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. Oh, I'm really happy. Um... And that Neo Geo is gone. It literally was just sitting there collecting dust. There was a couple of games I didn't take um, because they were not PAL, but my brother's going to sell them on, um, which means I make even I make some money as well, and have this as well. So <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not going back to retro collecting. Okay. <laughs> That's the exception. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's nothing else I want that's like rare or. I, I see really cool rare things. Or, like, uh, there, there was quite a few nice retro. Some, some rare bits down there, but you know, it was like, eh. Nah. You know, I'm good. <laughs> like I say, it's decent stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm good. I've got a lot to, uh, a lot of retro games to play. Um, yeah, and replay, because, oh man, there's so many games that I really want to replay. Anyway, uh, mumbling on about it. But uh, yeah, I've got another t-shirt. And as you can see, it has such a cool design. It has a little typewriter, and it says, take a break. Um, little ink ribbon, key, and a little hair pot. I love it. It should have a little cup of tea next to it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I love this t-shirt. Take a break. Indeed. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I love this shirt. So I've got two cool Resident Evil shirts, so that's brilliant. Um, yeah, and that's it. it look... <laughs> It's not a big pickup, this one, but, um, well, <laughs> two amazing games, oh my god, <laughs> just when you think you've got all the Resident Evil games, I pretty much have everything Resident Evil game-wise, um, there is nothing that I'm, you know, I even, even got all the outbreaks, and... Outbreak File 1 and 2, got all the survivors. I mean, I had these way back, um, all these Resident Evil games. There's like stuff I had picked up when I was a teenager, so I've been in my collection for a very long time. Um, but yeah, uh, we've been playing Resident Evil 5. I'm gonna um, go and uh, continue that. Gonna get another chapter done. Um, I didn't know, I didn't know I was gonna play the whole game. Well, I might change my mind, I don't know, but uh, yeah, we see how it goes. I, there isn't really a plan with 
the Resident Evil 5 gameplay. Um, but yeah, at least I know now I'll, I'll do a chapter each time. Um, it'll still be quite long, obviously. Um, but um, quite a long gameplay video, but uh, not as long as <laughs> the other two that I popped out. Um, but I was just, I was just enjoying it and didn't realise how long I was on there for. And yeah, it was quite. A <laughs> so <laughs> never mind. But uh, I had fun, and um, yeah, we keep out a chapter at a time. So yeah, I'll get that another one done today, I think. But yeah. Been enjoying playing RE5. It's not my favourite Resident Evil game, as you well know. I prefer the survival horror resis. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue that. Um, but I'll probably start another Resident Evil game. I would love to play Dead Aim. Resident Evil Dead Aim. Really, really good Resident Evil game, that one. Um, not so well known, I feel. So that's why I want to play that one. Yeah, we do a little bit of gameplay of that, I think. Um, I'm not going to play the full game of that. I'll just showcase it. I, I don't really do full gameplay videos, but I might do it on the odd occasion, maybe. Um, I would like to complete Resident Evil 1 and Co-Veronica on my channel. Yeah, I mean, there's so many things I could do. <laughs> it's endless. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's it. I don't know if there'll be another Resident Evil video, uh, Resident Evil pickups video. It depends what cool stuff I find. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe there will be one eventually, but it won't be for a long time, perhaps. Uh, like, uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, time to go now. Rambling on. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Right, so yeah, here's the actual cartridge. Absolutely nice, isn't it? And here's the box. Out of that protective thing. You know, it's just, it's a little bit, you know. So that's what that looks like. But I don't think it's in too bad of shape. You know. There. Yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. Yeah, just a bit of the black coming off. It's been a bit rougher on the corner there, but eh. Anyway, I was like reading the back of this, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but uh, um, it says here. Can you see? When Lion and Claire arrive in town. <laughs> Lion? Who's Lion? Leon, do you mean? <laughs> I can't believe that. Is that's that's a complete mistake, isn't it? Like, wow, okay. Um, is that like on every single N64 box? Does it say when Lion and Claire arrive in the town? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I would like to know because if anyone's got any uh, this RE2 game, let me know. Does it say that on yours? Um, yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that as I was reading. But uh, yeah, it's a bit rough there. <laughs> it's not the worst, do you know what I mean? I think it's okay for... Nintendo cardboard, you know, a bit in the corner. But I'm sure I could tidy it up if I wanted to. If but I'm not that bothered, I don't really care that it has no manual at all. I'm not bothered at all, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a tray. It's got like a weird cardboardy inserty thing that holds the cart. So, but there you go. Oh, can't wait to play this. Do you know? I thought I, should, I think I might have to just play it before I do a video. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it would be cool to get my first reaction. I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't have time anyway. So we probably yeah. 
I definitely want to do a video on this, uh, as well as some other Resident Evil bits and bobs. I've got a Resident Evil 2 PS1 controller, so um, that'd be cool to use. I'll do a video on that, I think, as well. Anyway, eh, 